What is going on everybody? Tommy Star here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to another unboxing and weekly pickups video. So I didn't do one last week. I apologize. There wasn't really any, I had nothing to unbox. And there was one title that I picked up. I grabbed Underwater. I was kind of debating on that one, but it sounded a little bit interesting. So I, I picked it up. But other than that, I didn't really do a video or anything for it. But this week, we actually do have two packages here that I'm going to open up for you guys. We got this one here, which, uh, as you can see, is a big, giant ball. <laughs> uh, that is from Trick or Treat Studios. Yeah, <laughs> this is like my second Trick or Treat Studios item in the past, like, week or so. <clears throat> but something pretty cool in there. And then we also have this from Amazon. Yes, the brand new Scream Factory Collector Edition. And then we do have one title I picked up this week that came out. There were a couple different things that came out this week, but I wasn't really interested in much. I will kind of run down as far as uh, what was new this week. First and foremost, I would say the big title would be Bad Boys for Life. A few different exclusives. There was a Steelbook at Best Buy and some kind of a digipack over at Target. And then Walmart had a, like a one through three set on blu-ray exclusively over there i believe that was 29.96 uh you know i'm not a super big fan of the bad boys movies i got the first one on blu-ray i've debated on getting them on 4k just to have them all but i'm sure at some point i'll get the third movie i just wasn't in a big rush to get it today. Otherwise, The uh, the Gentleman came out today. And then the other big title that came out today, the one I grabbed, The Turning. This one, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, Mackenzie Davis and Finn Wolfhard. Uh, you know, Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things and the It movies. I know my son is a pretty big fan of Finn Wolfhard, you know, from specifically Stranger Things and It because he's a big fan of those. And I know that he really wanted to see this. And I kind of did too. It looks... Um, kind of good. Includes an alternate ending. For some reason, this, like, was sold out at Best Buy. I don't know why. Like, in store. Uh, you could only, like, order it, but it was, I think, backstocked. I don't know. But, uh, luckily Walmart had it. I stopped over at Walmart and picked it up over there, so. Yeah, I mean, it looks, looks kind of cool. So, that is the only thing I picked up this week as far as new titles, but like I said... Uh, Bad Boys for Life uh, was the big title, if you guys are interested. All right, so let's take a look at this package here, uh, the one that's all balled up. So this is something that's pretty cool um, that I, I guess I, I, I knew it existed, but I just I didn't really think about it because I haven't been buying. I haven't bought in, uh, one of these in a long time. So I'm just getting it pulled out of here. Hopefully being all stuffed in that package is not ruined or anything. Oh, that seems to be all right. So, like I said, from Trick or Treat Studios, you guys, I picked up the Art the Clown mask from Terrifier. So, like I was saying, I haven't bought a new mask in a pretty long time. I think the last mask I bought was probably the new Pennywise from the new movie. Like, uh, when the first movie came out, I, I picked up a mask. And, and then before that, it was a long time. So, I'm a big mask collector. I'm sure you guys have seen all my masks, you know, in my various different collection videos and stuff I've done, but I haven't really bought anything new in a long time. And uh, I was just kind of searching on eBay the other day and I came across this and I just thought it was just awesome. I had to pick it up. So this mask runs for about 50 bucks. Definitely think it's got some pretty cool detail on it. And I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was uh, pretty freaky. <laughs> so thought I'd pick it up for the collection. Like I said, it's been a long time since I uh, bought any new masks. So pretty excited about that. That's pretty awesome. So we'll go ahead now and do this one from Amazon, the brand new Screen Factory Collector Edition. One pull. Now I'm not, I, I, I'm not like super excited about this one. <laughs> Craig and I usually never are when it comes to these type of titles, uh, but this is a, uh, a brand new hammer title for the Screen Factory Collector Edition line. And that is called The Curse of the Werewolf. So they've been doing a lot of these lately. Like they've done Dracula, Frankenstein, you know, various different Hammer titles from like the 50s and 60s, things like that. So, I mean, you know, we talk trash about them. We're like, oh God, you know, why do they keep releasing these titles? Let's get some better stuff. You know, because we just call these shelf fillers. You know, we just put them on the shelf because we buy everything collector edition. But, you know, when I start watching these, they're probably going to be pretty good. I mean, I keep dissing them, but uh, I'm sure that they're going to be uh, pretty 
pretty cool, you know, so. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this opened up, and we'll take a closer look at it. Okay, got the wrap off. I went ahead and flipped over the alternate art. We'll go ahead and start with the slip cover. Seems to be in okay shape. Uh, pretty cool art. Um, I guess this comes from Mark Maddox. Um, we, we get a bunch of new special features in here. This came out in 1960. So, you've seen the cover there. Here's the back. Maybe you guys want to read that. See what it's about there. And then here's the alternate art. And then here's a look at the inside. So, like I said, I mean, you know, I say this all the time. You know, I buy every single Screen Factory collector uh, collector's edition when they get uh, released. Whether it's a movie I care about or I don't. I just get the whole collection, you know, Craig and I both. So sometimes we get good stuff, sometimes we don't. But got to get them all if you're a collector. But, yeah, Curse of the Werewolf. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, by the way, this was released today, if anybody's wondering. So now that it's released, um, no longer, you know, on pre-order, I would say go to shoutfactory.com. I think they still got their 15% off sale going on. And if they do, you might be able to get this at 15% off. Uh, I would just go take a look at that. But, yeah, it did get released today. All right, so two new titles and a cool new mask for the collection. I'm pretty excited about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm sorry last week I didn't do anything, but like I told you before, if there's not a lot coming out or I don't really have anything to do on box, I just won't do a video. But there were a few different things this week, so you know, I had to go ahead and do, um, do one. Now, next week, we have a ton of stuff coming out, you guys. We got a whole bunch of stuff. We got some new to Blu-ray titles coming out, all sorts of really cool stuff. And I hope they all get here by Tuesday um, so, you know, I can do my video on the release day. If not, you know, it'll probably come Wednesday or Thursday. I try to do these, you know, week by week, but I just, I don't never know for sure on which day. I'm just going to try to keep them as weekly as I can. But some really good stuff coming out. And I got some other stuff coming, too in the mail. Uh, we'll see what I got next week, uh, you know, at that time. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, another unboxing and weekly pickups video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the like button down below, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys picked up this week. Share the video around, subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.